And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Lee Sin. It's going to be our first deck today. Uh, we got four uh, new donation decks. We're going to be trying out even more new stuff here uh, with our uh, newest format. This one's going to be combining Riven and Lee Sin. And the reason why these two combine so well together is because when uh, Riven is reforging and getting blade fragments for the uh, Blade of the Exile. These are all one-cost burst spells, which are, which is really exactly what you want with Lee Sin. So you have, uh, so you're able to create more spells, um, which you know just helps. Of course, spells help level up Lee Sin, but being able to play burst spells before combat is perfect for um, you know Lee Sin's claws and uh, you know getting you know uh, give, granting. Um, Lee Sin Challenger for a turn and allowing it to Dragon's Rage enemies and all that kind of stuff. So they, they work pretty well together. So we're kind of a combo deck with those two. They're going to be the most important cards whenever we're mulliganing. We're going to be looking for those two um, and that's really what we want. We don't have a lot of card draw available in Ionia and, um, and Noxus, surprisingly enough. We have our Deep Meditations in here, but that's really about it as far as the cards that we want to play that draw cards. So hopefully we find our champions. Uh, we got some anti-aggro with like Eye of the Dragon, House Spider, uh, Concussive Palm, you know, help have those help stop the aggro decks. Scorch Earth is just a necessary these days, destroying landmarks. There's just a bunch of good landmarks around. Um, and then of course we have our ways to protect our two champions. We need to protect our champions. We have, you know, Spirit's Refuge, Deny, um, uh, Sharpened Resolve, a new card and nopify we have lots of ways to protect our champions all right so let's try it out riven lee sin we're gonna go play five games in ranked and here we go playing against the grand plaza deck that's going big with garen and aurelian soul this deck's becoming pretty popular we played against this deck quite a bit yesterday um all right so we have our, our champions we have scorched earth these three cards are exactly what we want Sharpened Resolve, I think we can mulligan and just kind of see what else we find. It's not like Sharpened Resolve is bad necessarily, it's just, you know, it's just a very average card in our deck. And we can just with my spirit, not my look face. for something else. Alright, we'll play one mana Eye of the Dragon. attack um we could we could quick attack the riven let's see if they block do i want to attack with riven and have them block with a three two that's kind of like the question um violence to end violence How bothersome. okay cool that was a good turn for us because we didn't have to use the the blade fragment and didn't get just a ton of damage on the riven. That worked better for us. All right. And that worked well too. Pleasure to see you, Master. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, let's go. So if I go. Let's see. So we'll have four mana for. Well, have four mana left over. If I just go blade, blade, give Lee Sin a barrier. Oh, I should have gave that plus two to the Eye of the Dragon, actually. 
Yeah, I should've gave that plus two to the Eye of the Dragon. There's still much to answer for. Cause I want to barrier the Lee Sin. Not the egg. Oh, that kind of seems like a waste of a hush. Unless they have another single combat. I mean, that was, I think that was a good attack with the eye. Because they didn't block... They didn't block Riven. So I, I'm happy with that. Start here. Is all in the mind. I'm guessing they want to hush Lee Sin again. I'm just gonna take this. So I could give Lee Sin barrier block, they hush Lee Sin, then I can cuss of palm. That's kind of tapping out. I'll just... Pass. Fly to them on broken wings! So while I could go for lethal, I, I am expecting Hush from them, so I don't want to just like play everything right away. Because I am expecting Hush from them. Don't really know if there's any reason why I shouldn't just play like the Blade of the Exile though, and give them priority. You know they have like some celestial cards in hand. Oh, I guess that thing's a thing. What am I supposed to do about that? This is where I need Will of Ionia. Wait. Oh, wrong card. That was the complete wrong card. I meant to play this thing. All these blade fragments look the same. I just played the wrong one. What is gained when we return malevolence? Shining gifts from the sky. I wish this was not the Riven champion spell, right? Like, I wish it was like regular Riven that I could replay over the stunned Riven. I don't know if my plan's gonna work. Again, if, if I'm assuming they have Hush. We know of a couple of 
Yeah, like Hush is really like the biggest problem. We know of a couple of Celestial cards in hand. They have five cards. We know two of them are Celestial cards. I only have nine mana. No turning back now. Seven. There's still much to answer for. If only I had Will of Ionia. The dragon claims us all. <laughs> all right, Fior Shen. All right, so Culling Strike's amazing. Our two champions are great, so we're keeping all of those. Nopify basically only stops single combat, so I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan it. But you know, it's it. You know, it's good at stopping single combat. It does do that very well. Now, I think I don't play. I think I don't play Rune Weaver on turn two, so that I can have the three mana for Culling Strike available. River shape the land and give it life. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Sweep them away. Perfect. No sharp sight, that's awesome. So I can give River Shaper quick attack, but let's just attack. The balance requires a watchful eye. Water changes but never breaks. They would fall by my blade. Okay, palm's good. All means I have two other mana. Cast two spells for Lee Sin. To serve the greater good. I guess barrier is a thing. Yeah, I guess barrier is a thing that, you know, I can, because I can make like a, a lart, you know, I can play all these blade fragments, but they could just barrier. There's still much to answer for. How do I get through barrier? I guess I don't. Yeah, barrier is pretty great. All right, so we're gonna be trying to have Lisa and finish them off our next attack. And I like the might. I would see you know kind of saving the blade of the exile for the Lisa. I guess I shouldn't have cast that last plus two plus zero, so I'd have the extra spell mana so I could at least any blade of the exile this turn, this next turn. 
probably. I see every move. Can also wait though. But it's kind of like a you're right, it's like a it's like a single combat, you know, or concerted strike. Like those kind of those kind of cards I'm not gonna be able to stop with my current plan. What form will the waters take? Ah, really hoping for it to die. Extend your senses, the dragon himself. Okay, Taric Lux. That's a cool combination. Taric is probably pretty awesome with the Grand Plaza. That's probably a really cool card for Taric. So obviously we're going to keep Lee Sin. That's great to have that. Um, I don't know if they're going to be a Grand Plaza deck. Most likely not. As far as Scorch Earth goes, most likely not. Um, Nopify doesn't stop Hush, as we have learned, unfortunately. We keep this Deep Meditation, though. Oh, I don't like having another Deep Meditation. So I think two, two big weaknesses with our deck is Hush and Challengers. Or sorry, not Challengers, sorry. Barrier. Hush and Barrier. Because we are a combo deck, basically, it's so like the hush. Because we're just trying to like suit up a, a really big threat, and so hush is pretty weak to that. You know, like we're pretty weak to hush there, and then just barriers. We can't, we can't really stop barriers either. I think that's what we found with these two games. But there's a lot of decks that are not hush or barrier, right? Like that doesn't include everything. Very small chance that this works, but I'm going to try. Because there's a chance it works. Hopefully it works. No Pale Cascade or Sharp Sight? No. Shatter them. Never submit. That other least is a good draw because now I can have now I can cast two spells to give Lee Sin barrier. So that works pretty well. Worst case scenario is another hush, and you know, like them them casting like hush and pump spell, sharp side or pill cascade. That's worst case scenario. And now with that costing, or with us playing the two spells, the other good thing is now these deep meditations are going to cost three mana next turn. So I can even like double deep meditation to really refill. Um, so that's pretty awesome. No, I haven't done the gauntlet. Okay, perfect. It worked, no hush. Each life a rare jewel. Cool. And another another lease in. Awesome. Okay, good. No hush, no barriers from our opponent. I thank you, Dragon. And we went. Okay.
Looks like we're playing another Grand Plaza deck. Hopefully we find our champions and Scorched Earth. Champion, Scorched Earth. Okay, we got champion. Um, let's mulligan River Shaper and Deep Meditation. We'll keep Concussive Palm because that, that can stop, you know, like a... It's not a, as good as Scorched Earth, but that can stop a Grizzled Ranger. For example... I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Yeah, you could replace Decimate with Aftershock for those PNZ decks. Yeah, that that's a fair replacement. There may be something else to replace. There may be something else that's worth you keep Decimate and Aftershock. So if I palm that, they don't. That keeps them from attacking for six. Um, I th think it's better for racing purposes to just get Riven in play. Let them attack for six. And uh, another Ephemeral later. Okay, yeah, so they were going to be able to attack for more anyway. So yeah, another Ephemeral later. Stop that. And that thing costs two mana. To make two two twos. That's not bad. Um, Ready yourself. Yeah, I don't really care if the Eye of the Dragon's a 1 3 or a 1 1. We'll save two life with that. Hey, what's up, Charles Lynn? No, I mean, that's just a little bit of damage to our Nexus. I think that's okay. We'll save the Nupfi. We swim within the flows of magic. Making the dead dead. You're in over your head. The cost of war. Stay back. Alright, so only dealing two damage to them this turn. But we did kill a Senna. We're set up for good defense. We also drew an extra card. And then we're set up for a very good open attack the following turn. Alright, now we'll Nopify. Because, you know, like, Nopify and the other one, they already had the other shark that was going to be able to... Don't fear the dark. I do something. Missed your chance to run. Go down to eight. Yeah, we know. All right, quick attack. Fragment snuffs out lives. them. It is time. So that's eight damage right now. I need to keep other mana up. I, you know, we could we could go with the weapon hilt, reforge, play that level up, but keep other other mana up. Let's go with might. And hopefully another either concussive palm, deny, or nopify. Hopefully one of those three cards that we get with the river shaper. Ooh. Well, good thing we went with the might, the overwhelm. What form will the waters take? Or scorcher, that's good too. That's good too, that can kill a ground plaza. What is gained when we return malevolence? And then there's the deny. So if they have another spell, you know, like a, even like a harrowing or like something that brings back 
<clears throat> some ephemerals. We can counter that. <laughs> those are fam Yeah, those are famous last words, aren't they? Just a little bit of damage on our nexus. We'll be fine. Yeah, those are famous last words. Barrier Lifesteal. I am reformed. Throw it over your head. What? That's gotta be single combat, right? Alright, so I have one protection card with Deny or Spirit's Refuge. Okay. All right, back to two and two. All right, same deck. These same champions. Get rid of the deep meditations. Obviously, we're gonna keep Lee Sin, and I think we have to, you know, Deny has some ability, but I think we have to get rid of that because uh, we really want to find Damn, we drew three three mana spells, but not the one that we want to find. We want to find the one that destroys the Ground Plaza. That was a big part of us winning that last game. My opponent had zero Ground Plazas. That helped a bunch. Hmm, this hand not so good. Can't do anything. trade. Extend your senses, the dragon himself. I don't think I'm actually going to play it. Like, none of these spells are really that great to play to just to do a regular challenge. I think I want to just keep my mana. All right, let's miss some folks up. And kind of protect against like single combat and that kind of stuff. So I play Deep Meditation, I have four mana left. Man, Grizzled Ranger is pretty good against us. We could really use like a house spider to block those things. Here we go. Good morning, Krim. Slow down, will wow. Alright, draw into house spider. In the mine. I can cuss a palm it is, I suppose. Spells. Bring in the heat. I will not hold back. You cannot win. To dance. I failed. Yes. 
is not gonna be easy. Plus two plus zero. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? The heart and mind to aim its strike. No place for the kind anymore. That's a good combo. Well, I can't just pass now. Because they could just go to attacks and kill me. I guess I... I guess I do have a culling strike. They could stop that. But we wouldn't. Patience see. is underrated. No turning back now. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. It's not a great chance that we win this, but I, I guess this is our this is the best thing to do. You know, not. I can't real I can't really afford to play around a lot of stuff right now. GG's Grizzled Ranger. Four Grizzled Rangers. Yeah, they did. They did. They had a good hand. Four four Grizzled Rangers is tough to stop. Just one unit at a time. I I just had too many expensive spells in hand and spells that didn't really do very much. Right, like we weren't we weren't really doing anything with Sharpened Resolve and Might and. I did tap down at the Nopify the one time, to, and they had the single combat to punish me. Um, so, okay, our, our deck was okay. Uh, you know, it did, we definitely have some holes. Hush, Barrier, those are things that are really difficult to get through. So, no, it's all right. It's it's the kind of deck that you can, you, you know, like, Lee Sin is an incredibly powerful champion. And uh, if you can get it set up, if you can get Lee Sin... And if you can, you know, if you can stabilize your life total, get Lee Sin in play, and have a lot of mana, if you can get to that point of the game, which isn't necessarily like that difficult, like that, it seems like I'm asking a lot, but it, like that happens in a, a good amount of games. If you can get to that that point of the game, you know, Lee Sin is is just absolutely incredible and can can beat basically everything except for Hush. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. I agree, Violet. Violet says this this kind of deck's really hard to build, and I, I agree. Like, there's a lot of these spells are, are very situational, and that's what you that's what you have in Noxus and Ionia with these spells. They're very situational. So finding the right build of all of those kind of spells is really difficult, and that's you know we're not just not going to have a perfect deck list right away with the first week of a new format with new champions, everything like that. Like, we're just not going to have a perfect deck list right away with all of these situational spells. Um, I don't know what you really do against Hush, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is to Hush in this kind of deck, because it's burst, you can't stop it. I don't know. Um, Frostbite also, you know, like, we don't we didn't play against any Frostbite, but that's another thing. You know, like, if you play against a deck with, you know, that's playing, like, your Flash Reason... Flash freezes and harsh winds and that kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, even like Grizzled Ranger, I don't know if there's like a, a really efficient answer to Grizzled Ranger because that that Grand Plaza is incredible. So there's going to be just a lot more Grizzled Rangers around as we saw there. And I, I don't really know what like the best answer to Grizzled Ranger even is in a deck like this. I'm not sure. But those are those are things to think about. Um, Moving forward, yeah, those are the, the, some things to think about whenever you're kind of putting putting together a ri Riven Lee Sin deck list. Uh, yeah, all right. So there we go. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. I want to I want to know from y'all what do y'all think of um, you know just like how how would you build this kind of deck? What what what's your answers to like Hush Barrier Frostbite uh, Grizzled Ranger? Do you have any uh, good suggestions? Um, you know, I, I would love to, to hear that feedback.
you know, let me let me know what uh, what, what you guys would do. All right, but that's it here for Riven Lee Sin. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.